DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a dumbbell chest, tricep, and shoulder workout, or a dumbbell push workout. So for this workout, we're going to be doing nine total exercises, and we're going to be doing each exercise one at a time. We're going to do three sets of each exercise. Our working time is 40 seconds, our break time is 20 seconds, and then in between the different exercises, we'll then take a 40 second extended break. If you like this workout, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel, and if you're looking for a dumbbell workout routine, check out our store at shop.achievepeak.com. Now let's get to work. We got about 30 seconds until we get started with this workout. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start that now. Our first exercise we're gonna go into is push-ups on DBs or a lying uh, press. So I'm gonna grab our dumbbells. I'll demonstrate push-ups. So we're really just gonna put the weights out, get up in push-up position, drop down, come up. If we're doing lying press, we're gonna lie back on the ground. And then from here, we're gonna push the dumbbells up tap them together, come back down. So what you're gonna to wanna to do here when you're doing this is when you're down here, have the weight just below your chest or at the very bottom of your chest, come up and then push. There we go. You could also do this on a bench or on a ball like we have in the corner there. And then our next set, I will actually do push-ups. There we go. Good controlled movements here. Don't strain your neck. It's okay to have your neck on the ground. If you're doing the lying press. There we go. So for the next set, I will, uh, I'll actually do push-ups. And then I can even do the third set over here on the abs ball maybe. Give you an idea. So I like to try to get the dumbbells on this wider than my chest so I can go down and get that full range of motion here. Here we go. So we go. So as you can see, I try to go down, still touch my chest to the ground, and then come up. So now I'm getting a great full range of motion. Come all the way up, squeeze the chest all the way down. Also, don't let your butt sag. We're not trying to look like this. We're on a nice tight core while we're doing this. All the way down, all the way up. And as you can see when I'm down here, the dumbbell is still just below my chest. It's not way up here like this. There we go. Couple more. There we go, one more. There we go. So let's push up. I'll actually grab this ab ball that we have. So if you have a bench, Bruce, go. You could uh, you could use a bench or even you know some type of low chair or ottoman. You can use that. So let me grab these. There we go. Let's get ready. Nice wide stance with your legs for using a ball. Make sure to stabilize it. And we're gonna come down and then up again. The weight is nice and low. It's not high with my shoulders when I come down. It's just below my chest. And then you push up. There we go. Good controlled movements. Get that squeeze at the top. Come back down. Get the squeeze. Come back down. Full range of motion as far as you can go. Let's go. Last one. There we go. All right. We got a 40 second break and then we're moving into a lying decline press. So for lying decline press, what we're going to do is uh, kind of like a little glute bridge to uh, keep our hips in the air. If you're doing this, when you have an abs ball, you could actually, instead of doing a decline, you could do an incline press and just kind of sit more deep into it. So then uh, you can get incline, but since we're not actually using anything, I'm going to do decline. So for this, when we're here, we're going to get the dumbbells in position, push our hips up, and then from here, we're going to press. Again, keeping the dumbbells nice and low, coming up. There you go, keep them hips nice and high. Don't let them sag. And then press. Press. Feel it in the chest when you're doing this. There we go. 
Dumbbells don't have to come super far out like this. They can stay nice and close to the body. Let's go. Let's get one more. There we go. We're just going right back into that. Again, if you want, you can do the uh, incline using the uh, an abs ball or whatever. Even if you have a bench or an ottoman, you could kind of push it up against the wall and you could do incline instead of decline. Here we go, let's get ready. Here we go, hips in the air, and then press. Here we go, good controlled movements. Let's go. Nice control down, and I like to kind of explode up. Good control down, explode up. Really focus on that chest here. Oh. Push it out. Let's go. Last one. There we go. Moving right along. All right, going into our third set here. Lying decline press. Woo. Feeling in the chest already. Nice outside. Getting a good pump going on. It's the perks of the short rest periods. Get the pump, keep the pump. Here we go. Let's go hips up and then press. Keep them hips up. Let's go. Push it out. Come on. Feel the burn. Embrace the burn. Let's go. Come on. Couple reps left. Let's go. Keep pushing. We got 10 seconds. Good controlled movements. Let's get one more. Woo! There we go. All right, so next we're just going to go into some lying dumbbell flies. So we got a 40 second break and then we're moving on. So we're just going to do some basic flies here. Again, if you want, you could do them on the abs ball or on a bench or ottoman, whatever you might have. You could do them like that. So what we could do is just take, if you have the abs ball, grab your dumbbells like that and then you can lean back we're gonna bring them out like that there you go so there's that one i'm still gonna do my lying though so let's grab those come out let your elbows hit and then come back here we go so you're gonna have a slight bend in the elbows and then you're gonna lock that into place and then you're just going to use the chest to bring the dumbbells back together. So as we go down, we're not bending the elbows like that. That's just a press. We're doing flies. I'm trying to open that chest up. Come back. Open the chest. Come back. There we go. So I'll do this next one on the abs ball so you guys can see. So if you have an abs bar or even like a foam roller like I have over there, you could put that back there to kind of lift you off the ground, allow the chest to open up just a little more too. Here we go. Let's go. Open them up and then come back. Make sure to have a nice stance if you're on an abs ball or on a bench or whatever it might be. Here we go, let that chest open up, and then come back. Let's go. Good controlled movements. Let's go. Oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Woo! All right, we got one more set. If you want for these, you could also, you know, whether you are on a chair or whatever, do like an incline fly and kind of change it up here as well. So you could uh, take them and then just kind of sit a little bit more forward like this and then do your flies 
like that as well. Get a little bit more incline action in if you want. A couple different options there. Just make sure to note it on your workout log so you know the next time you do the workout what you were using in the exact exercise. Come on. Let's go. Again, incline is going to be further down, a little bit more sitting, and then regular is going to be a little bit higher. Let's go. Let's get one more. Ah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, next one, we got a 40 second break here, and then we're moving into an alternating crossover. So we're gonna do a low crossover here. All right, so for the low crossover, grab our dumbbell. We're gonna come right across the front of our body. As you can see here, right across the front, and then bring it, bring it all the way across. Get a nice squeeze of the chest right here when you're crossing over. Here we go, let's get ready. Here we go, bring it across, squeeze the chest. Bring it across, squeeze. Squeeze. You may need to lean just a little bit forward here. You may feel it in your front delts, that could be because maybe they're a little bit too weak or you're kind of bringing it a little too far out. In front of you, it's not supposed to be way out here. It's literally just crossing the front of your body. Your bicep should probably hit your pec when you're bringing it across. Here we go. Come on. Squeeze. Focus on the chest. Last one. Here we go. Make sure to be focusing on the pec muscle there. You want you could also maybe your dumbbells aren't heavy enough you could also do like a high crossover bring it up crossover but come a little bit higher that's gonna work upper chest right now this is kind of gonna work the uh, the outer pack when you're doing this you may feel a little bit on the inner too but largely you should be feeling it out here when you bring it across that's where you're really gonna feel it right in there here we go. Oh my. Squeeze. Squeeze. Again, we're not rotating either. We're trying to keep our torso straight. Bringing it across. Getting that squeeze. Bring it across. Hold it for a second. Squeeze the chest. Let's go. Let's go. One more. That's what I'm talking about. Woo. Starting to break a good sweat now. So I have right here is like 20... 22, 24 pounds, 23 pounds, something like that. I don't know, whatever 20 is plus these bars. I have no idea what the weight of the bars are. Here we go. Let's go. Bring it across, squeeze the pack. Bring it across, squeeze the pack. Let's go. Focus on the chest. Use the chest to pull it across, not the shoulders. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Let's push it. Get the squeeze. Come on. Keep going. Let's go. Let's get one more. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. We got a 40 second break and then we're going into overhead tricep extensions. So for the overhead tricep extensions, you can do one dumbbell or two. You could technically put one dumbbell in your hand and hold it like that and go over, but since our weights can slide, we don't do that and I don't suggest doing that either. If you have that, this style of dumbbell. So we're gonna bring the dumbbells up and then from here, we're gonna extend out. Here we go, just like that. As you can see, I kind of drop mine down on my shoulders to make sure I kind of keep my elbows up. You don't want your elbows here and doing that. That's a shoulder press. That's next. Right now we're trying to work the triceps. So if you have two, you can do it like this. If you only have one, but it slides like ours, 
Then you can take the dumbbell, hold each side, and then bring it up like this. There you go. Good controlled movements here. Let's go. Last one. There we go. So what I was talking about earlier is you can hold it like this and put it over, but since these can slide off, uh, I'm not, uh, you know, a live a little bit risky, but not that risky. Prefer not to have a steel plate hit me in the head. All right, let's get ready. Here we go. Elbows nice and high. Bring it up. Come back down. There we go. Try to get that full range of motion. Squeeze it at the top. Come down. Ah, let's go. Ah, let's go. Come on. Push it. Let's go. Ah, if you need a little bit of help, you can kind of rest it and then kind of pop down, pop up, and then helps get that momentum going. Ah, let's go. Ah, go one more. Ah, woo, here we go. Going into set three here. Moving right along. Tighten those back up. There we go. Let's get ready. There we go. Remember, elbows nice and high. And then lift, extend. Come back down. Feel it burn. Uh, try to keep the elbows as straightforward as possible. You don't want them like way out here like this when you're doing it pointing out to the sides, going like that. We want to keep that shoulder joint nice and stabilized. So we're trying to keep them in as best as possible. I may not be the best, best model for that, but that's the idea. Let's go. Uh, last one. Uh, woo, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. 40 second break, then we're going into shoulder press. Ooh, moving right along. Starting to break a killer sweat now. All right, we got a shoulder press coming up. So we're gonna grab the dumbbells, curl them up, palms facing away from us, elbows slightly in, and then from here, we're gonna press up and out. Let's get ready. We've got about five seconds left. Curl them up. Here we go. Pushing up, coming down. Pushing up, coming down. So if you only have one dumbbell for these, then what you can do is more of a press out. So grab each side of the dumbbell, have your palms facing you, and then from here, you're going to kind of press up and out at the same time. Or you could just go straight up if you want, but I feel like you get a lot more shoulder work by going up and out with it. Like that. There we go. One more. There we go. Going to our second set, shoulder press. Whew. It's heating up in here. That's what I'm talking about. Going back into shoulder press. Let's get ready. Here we go curl them up and then press it out. If you want, you could also do Arnold's uh, instead of a shoulder press. It's just a variation. So you're going to start with your palms facing you. And then from here, you're going to push up and then rotate your palms away from you as you press. As you come down, you're going to rotate your palms back towards you. It's going to give you a little bit more of the front delt activation as you come lower. Let's go. Remember to keep the elbows in and press. You don't want your elbows way out by the side. You want them a little bit in when you're doing these. There we go. Going into set three here. Woo! Shoulders are on fire. Ooh, let's get ready. Come on. Burning it up today, ladies and gents. Let's go. 
Curl them up. Again, keep your elbows nice and close, a little bit in front of the shoulders, and then we're gonna press up. Let's go. Come on, push it. If it starts to get too heavy, you could drop to one, or again, you could get that little squat and explode up with your legs, helping to get that momentum going, and then just control it down nice and slow, like that. Let's go. Push it out. Come on. Two more. Last one. Woo. There we go. 40 second break. And then we're going to drop down to the ground for skull crushers. Woo. Shoulders are on fire. All right, so for skull crushers, you can use two dumbbells if you want. I'm just gonna use one, as you can see here. So we're gonna lie down, have the dumbbell above your head, like I have. We're gonna grab it with both hands. And then from here, we're gonna keep our elbows back a little bit. We don't want them vertical. We want them back just a little bit. And then we're gonna extend up like this. There we go. Down, tap the ground come back up. We never want to be here with this because then there's no tension on the triceps. We want to keep a nice little lean. As you can see here, we want to be here, not here. And then from here, we drop down and then come back up. Drop down and then come back up. There we go. Good controlled movements here. Again, we're not coming here and then coming down. We're keeping those elbows and upper arms at an angle to keep constant tension on the triceps. There we go. So you can also do this with uh, both dumbbells, similar to how we do the overhead tricep extensions, except this time we're just gonna be here like that, doing it that way. All right, we got about five seconds left on this break. We're going back into skull crushers. Let's go. Skull crushers. Push it out. Squeeze. Focus on them triceps. Let's go. Come on. Let's push it. Let's go. Come on. Let them burn up. Try to keep those elbows nice and straight. You don't want them flaring out too far. 10 seconds. Here we go. Come on. Push it out. One more. Ah. Woo. Here we go. 20 second break. And we're going back into our third set of skull crushers. That one lit my triceps up. Woo. It's growing reps from here on out. Let's get ready. Let's push it. Come on, push yourself. Let's go. Let them triceps catch fire. Keep constant tension. Remember, you don't want to come to here. You want to stay back here the whole time. Come down and then extend. Let's go. Come on. Push it out. Tap the ground. Go back up. Woo! Let them catch fire. Embrace the burn. Come on. We got two more. That's one. Last one. Ah. Woo! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. I can barely get off the ground. All right, we got 40 seconds, and then we're going into lateral release. We're going back to shoulders. You do not need heavy weight for lateral raises. No ego lifting when we're doing shoulders. Nice and light. Get the pump. So for lateral raise, we're going to start with arms by our side, and then from here, we're going to bring it up to there. You're going to have a slight bend in the shoulders when you're doing this, or the elbows. You're not going to have them straight trying to come out. Nice, light bend. Lock that in place, and then come out. Try to use your shoulders. You don't want to be shrugging like that. You don't want to activate the traps, or at least the least amount as possible. You want to use the shoulders pull the dumbbells up. You could also start it almost like a 90 like this 
and then bring them out and keep that lock in the elbows. Bring them out. This is a good one to do if you struggle with doing a normal lateral raise like this and you get that shoulder shrug going on where you feel like you're using more uh, traps than anything, that might be a good option for you. Here we go. Set one is done. Woo! My freaking shoulders are on fire. That's what I'm talking about. Let's keep this going. A couple seconds till we get started. Here we go. Let's go. Lateral raise. Push it. Come on. Let's go. Good controlled movements. Nice and controlled down. Nice and controlled up. Let those shoulders just catch fire. Come on. Let's go. Woo! Come on. Push it. Let's go. One more. Here we go. Go to set three. Woo! Embrace that burn. If you have to on these, you can kind of cheat them up, get that momentum, and then just try to go nice and slow. Do like a nice little negative here. So if it starts to get too heavy, kind of push it up real quick, and then slow and control down, and then push it up real quick, slow, control down. You could even start here, come up, extend, down. Come up, extend, <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Ah, so you can do that too. Ah, come on, burn those shoulders up. Good controlled movements here. Ah, let's go. Ah, let's go. Come on, last one. Ah, woo! That's what I'm talking about. All right, we got one, one exercise left. Tricep kickbacks. Final movement, three sets, we're done. Oh, it's tough to reach out for my drink there. All right, so tricep kickbacks. We're gonna get a uh, nice little solid base stance, slight bend in the knees, bending at the hips. Our back is gonna stay straight. We're not gonna be hunched like this. Nice straight back, chest out, upper arms by the body, and then we're gonna kick it back like that. Here we go, let's go. Here we go, kick back, come back. So we're keeping the upper arms by the side. We're not letting them drop like this and then coming back like that. We're gonna keep them up by our side. Extend, squeeze the triceps as best you can. Come on, let's go, come on, push it out. Come on. Woo! Also getting some rear delt work in here too. Let's go, last one. There you go. So that time I kept my triceps kind of facing each or my palms, sorry, my palms, uh, facing each other the whole time when I extended. What you can do on the next set is as you go back, point your palms towards the sky. And then on our final set, when you come back, you can point them to the ground. Here we go. So this time as we come back, rotate the palms up to the sky and then come back down. I always feel like it hits a different head of the tricep when I do this. So each set, I kind of like to change up where the palms go. Get that squeeze back there. Remember to keep that back nice and straight. We don't want to be all hunched over like this. Trying to do this. Come on. Poke that chest out, bending at the hips and knees, back nice and straight. Upper arms by the side, extend. One more. Woo! Kind of feel it in that rear delt up here too, right at the crease in the armpit right there. So this time, as we come back, we're gonna point our palms to the ground. Change it up just a little. Woo. Let's go. 
Remember, nice straight back. As we rotate, palms to the ground, come back. Maybe we should have started with this. My triceps are so pumped. Ah, I can barely do the movement. Let's go. Come on, keep them upper arms by the side. Ah, let's go. Keep the pump going. Ah, come on. Ah, squeeze. Let's go, squeeze. Couple reps. Ah, we got two more left in us. Ah, come on. Last one. Ah. Woo! Ah. Workout is done. Chest, triceps, shoulders, spin. Dumbbell push workout completed. If you like this workout, smash that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking for a dumbbell workout routine, Check out our store at shop.achievepeak.com. See you guys. Woo! It's time to go check yourself out in the mirror now. Get that flex on.